Mexico stuff, man. <laughs> Double J. That's J U S T. J O. J O. J U Double G. It's got me in there. <laughs> All right, just Johnny, you got the you got to check out a uh, uh, Perian Cyberstorm. So you want to give us the, uh, the the quickness? Yeah. So Perian Cyberstorm, it's kind of like a uh, how to describe it. There's this game that came out a while ago called uh, a long time ago called uh, Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Was that the it, name of the game? That was the name of the game. How did I miss something called Insanely Twisted Twisted Shadow Planet? I don't know. It was really good. It came out on PSN. Adam, why did you let me know there was a game? I was busy playing it myself. Yeah. Uh, it was like five or six years ago. Uh, so this game is kind of like that where it's a top-down uh, twin-stick shooter, but there's exploration elements to it mm-hmm. where you're going from you're going through windy corridors into a room, and then you're blasting a whole lot of enemies. Uh, th- that's that's as far as it gets to being, you know, resembling Insanely Twisted, which is a, an actually really good game. Uh, Imperial Cyberstorm is the opposite of that. It's a really, oh, no it's not a bad game. It's just so mediocre in everything that it does. Uh, but it's a full fledged game. It has all all <laughs> the, the options that one. Epic. Well, well, they kind of executed like good enough on this game where it has everything that you would expect a fully released game to have. Oh. So it's not like it didn't feel like it was a rushed effort. It just, just feels bare minimums. Yeah, it just feels so it's going out um, of its way to be like, you know, uh basic as it, basic as it wants as it wants, it wants to be. Yeah, like it has leaderboards, it has local multiplayer, it has uh this campaign mode, uh it has a uh survival mode where you're just playing uh you're going through waves and waves of enemies coming after you, and you're just trying to see how long you can last and how big of a score you can get. Uh, that so, pretty thorough, though. Yeah, yeah. It, it, so you, you get that that exploration element of Insanely Twisted, and then you also get Tron. It, this is more so in, in the realm Wait, of Tron. The Tron, the Tron, arcade baby. game. You get Tron, baby. That's yeah. nice. Uh, so it, it's, it's more <laughs> like that than it is anything else. Uh, you're playing as these couple of different... Uh, spaceships and each one has slightly different uh characteristics on how they operate and the weapons that they use and how they fire and stuff like that but uh what it boils down to is just monotony incarnate you're just going down a boring corridor shooting some crystals to get to collect some currency that you then use for meaningless power-ups uh, which is not fun. You know, just going down an empty corridor with some crystals in it to shoot is just bad game design Damn. in general. Well, and then you go into a, a something to break the monotony of all uh, that hardcore dance that's gotten to be a little <laughs> bit out of control. It's cool. To, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, and then you go into this, uh, into the these rooms that are kind of like little mini arenas, and you fight wave after wave after wave after wave after wave after wave after wave. Wait, are they trying to make like a, are they trying to make like a crowd battle? Uh, game just with the ships. Then. It, it's like Smash TV. If you're familiar with Smash TV, yes, yes I am. Yeah. yeah. So you're just having enemies come at you from all different corners of the of the environment, well, and you're be, shooting them, okay. and you're trying Those to dodge around the bullets. Stress, you know. So it's like you just spend time smashing different units. Yeah, but Smash TV had a personality to it. It had interesting mechanics to it, where you could pick up these power ups. And you know you're you're attacking enemies, and it had that one hit kill, and had that very fine tune uh, control exactly where you need to be, where you need to stand. You could do kiting mechanism uh, mechanisms where where most of the robot enemies will sort of uh, you can sort of guide them along how you want them to be. So you're thinking ahead of where you need to place your character in order to shoot the enemies to take them down. Yeah. Uh, this game has none of that. The enemy AI is very very. Uh, it the AI will do what it needs to do regardless of how you are flying your ship, more or less. It is based on your ship and where it's positioned, but it's rudimentary AI where it will either circle around you or it will um, mainly just circle around you. Uh, it, it, some of them will just ignore you entirely and bounce off of walls. Uh, it, it, it's just... or. Better yet, they'll have enemies that can go through walls that you cannot. So the enemies are <laughs> doing things that you can't do. Uh, so they have like this weird uh, uh, exception to their own rules of how they operate, but you have to abide by these other rules that are 
more strict and uh, more restrictive. Uh, and so then every that, now and then there's boss it's, like, it's like one of those old school games where to make it quote unquote challenging, the game's just outright cheating. Well, yes, but it's also not challenging either. So, so it has all the elements that would be a very hard game, mm -hmm. uh, a very hard bullet hell, twin stick shooter style game, but none of the challenge for it. I was playing on normal difficulty, not challenging at all. I literally was able to stand in spot and shoot enemies and not even bother with dodging bullets, and I would not die. Oh, the asteroids technique. Well, it's tried yes. and true. Yes. Okay, so did you try hard mode then? Was that maybe maybe you were just that ill? You know, you were just that gangster uh, at, at these at this type of game that yes, normal seemed like no challenge to you, but you didn't also take into account that you were some kind of like you know Jedi ninja. <laughs> uh, I was not I was not going out of my way to play good. I started off trying to you know trying to be you know dodge all the bullets and play well, but it it's. Part of the monotony is that the enemies, almost all the enemy ships, have HP bars that take more than one hit. And when you're playing these types of games, like Smash TV, right? Mm -hmm. You shoot a robot once, boom, dead. Yeah. And then you shoot all the other ones, and you're just going after wave after wave. But it's not you're not wasting you know five seconds trying to take out one enemy when there's another fifty that you have to kill. So it takes forever to clear just a single room, and then each. Uh, I guess they're worlds or stages or levels. I don't I don't know what to call it, but each let's say level yeah. is made up of multiple arena based rooms tied with corridors, and there's like I don't know like like ten to twenty rooms Ooh. inside of one level, and then you, there's like four big giant levels. So it's just it takes for ever to progress it's like a couple hours just to get through one level these types of games should not take that long you should expect to beat the game within a couple hours and the difficulty should be there to sort of say to slow you down and have you uh sort of you know uh ha make you have fun and feel a challenge to it and get better at it this game doesn't have it it's well, just it sounds about as fun as a root canal but oh, so i guess the uh i guess the the, the 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 proper question is thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, definitely thumbs down. You. I started off with a thumbs down just to let everyone know. It's available on... <laughs> it Look, the game's not bad. It has... <laughs> just, everything you just said. It's mediocre, which I feel is worse than being bad. When you're so <laughs> mediocre that you can't make a game that's worth the price of admission, it at least feels bad. I could There might be some people out there like, oh, I want to try out this super bad game. This is not a super bad game. It doesn't control bad. There's the graphics aren't bad. The graphics are all right. There's there's a story element which is completely stupid, pointless, and they should never have included that. Whoever had the heart on to write a story for this game should not work in sort of game writing in general because it was wow. so throwaway, <laughs> generic. It was bad. But all anyway, right. so in the words right. of uh, in the words of uh, just Johnny, it's not it's not bad. It's just very 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 ungood. It's right. it's mediocre. Oh, good. It's mediocre. It's it's available. Uh, it came out uh, two months ago or a month and a half ago on Switch. It's also available on Steam. Whatever price they're asking for it, it doesn't matter because you should not pick it up. <laughs> you should tell me what is it available on. Don't pay it. You find out what it's available on because it's a Perry and Cyberstorm. Uh, and uh, apparently, it's thumbs down. Just Johnny says, "Don't bother." And um, apparently, wished like ill on a man's career. Well, our person's career. It was a few people. It was a few. I looked at the credits. I I feel bad for saying this, but like, don't make a mediocre game. <laughs> He's, he, Johnny's watching the credits. Well like, said. Thank you. Mike Smith, you suck. Don't you ever work again. <laughs> Carly Jackson, you suck. Don't you ever work again. He's like going through the whole credits list. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you just spent a night going going on Moby Games, going through the list, uh, uh, and and make it man man like you know, hoping you had a death note. Just like okay, so so blank and blank. Yeah. Just the writing. It, it, it's not that the writing is so bad. It's just like it did. <laughs> it did not, not need so to be thing. there at all. It was like completely uncalled for. Therefore, bad. All right. All right. Well, that's. Thank you for being succinct and <laughs> apparently brutally, brutally honest. Yeah. All right. Now kicking it over to Black Adam Willis. I want to hear about these dogs, man. These dogs, man. Oh, man. Isle of dogs.